Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and today's video is going to be a pack with me video. I am going to Florida in five days, and I'm very excited. So today I'm just going to show you what I'm going to be packing and bringing with me. I'm going to show you where I pack it, how I pack it, and when I'm bringing my brushes in. So the first thing I should show you is what I'm packing it in. I always pack my makeup in this bag. I literally got it at Walmart. It has three compartments, a plastic one, a fabric one, and then a small, meshy fabric one. And then it has a hanger so you can hang it on a door and it folds right up like this. I've had it since I was 13 and I've never had any issues. It always flies great, nothing's ever smashed in there. And it's really, really good quality, honestly. And it's probably like 10 bucks at Walmart. I don't have like a cool train case or any of that stuff. And I also don't bring my makeup on the plane with me. People, some people like take it in their carry-on, I don't. I put it in my suitcase. Um, maybe I shouldn't put it in my suitcase, but I do because I don't like airports in general. So fucking with uh, the idea of them being like, you can't bring all this makeup, it has to go. It makes me so anxious. So I'd much rather just like put it in my suitcase and if it gets lost and I can't wear makeup the first couple days, then fine. Okay, so the first things that I'm going to pack is face products. I I always put my face products in the plastic compartment of the bag just because if my foundation or something breaks open then it's in the plastic and not in the material. So the first thing that I'm bringing is moisturizer obviously and my moisturizer is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This is my favorite moisturizer right now because my skin, though being oily, is also really really dry. And when I'm in the sun and the chlorine and swimming and tanning all day, my skin gets so dry. So this is why I'm bringing this. It's so so good. If you have dry skin or even if you have oily skin, if you have skin, just buy this because I think it's really really good. Then for primer, this is a new product I haven't even used yet. I'm trying it on the trip. It is the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. I haven't bought the full size of a primer in like years. I always buy the little mini ones. So this is like so satisfying to me. Like this is like crazy that I'm like, oh my god, I have a full primer. I bought this because one of my favorite gears on here, sorry, um, it's like it's likely makeup uses this and her skin always looks so nice and she has a similar skin to me. Plus I'm not looking for anything crazy in my primers, like I just I like something to smooth it out, make my skin feel nice, and that's really it. I've kind of gotten over the primer hype, and I'm just looking to try more. So I'm very, very excited for this. So shove that in the bag. This is a long product, so I'll shove it sideways. Okay, so for, for foundation, I'm obviously bringing my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 110 Porcelain. It is my favorite foundation ever. Everybody knows this. It's never done me wrong. It's never looked bad on me. It'll, it'll work so well for running the sun and it doesn't oxidize and it, I've just worn this foundation in all conditions and it's worked for me always so I'm not going to change my foundation now. So yeah, bring in this baby. Then for concealer, I'm sure you can all guess what I'm going to say, I am bringing my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. As you can see, I'm running very low. I'm going to have to take the stopper out of this soon. Oh, I'm sorry. Um. But I'm in the shade Fair. It's my favorite. This is my eyeshadow primer as well. And also what I use to clean my brows. And it's my concealer. So yeah, this is a top, top favorite of mine. And I literally would not wear makeup if I don't have this to wear. Then for setting powder, for baking my under eyes, I'm bringing my RCMA No Color Powder. But I will be bringing it in this really small Laura Mercier sifter. Because I hate this salt shaker. Like this is just... Who thought this was practical? I'm just wondering. RCMA, I just want to talk. I'm just saying. But this is my favorite powder ever. I'm, I love to bake with it. It never looks cakey, but it keeps me matte. But it doesn't keep me too matte. And it's just the perfect powder ever. I need to buy more. So I'm going to put this powder in a Ziploc bag. I'm not going to bring it by itself because I don't want it to like burst open and ruin everything else I have. So I'll just lay that to the side. And I'll put this little one in the bag. Then for an all over face powder, I'm bringing the Maybelline Fit Me powder. As you can see, I am uh, running pretty low on it. I definitely need to buy a new one before I go away. But uh, this is my favorite powder. It's nothing heavy, because I wear very heavy foundation. I don't want to wear very heavy powder as well. It just is good for touch ups, it sets my face, and that's all I really want from a powder. So yeah, it's perfect. Then for bronzers, I am bringing these two, the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil and the Benefit Hula Bronzer. 
I will not be bringing my Kat Von D contour kit because that breaks on me anywhere I go. I literally brought it to my dandruff settle in a bag and the mirror smashed. So I'm just going to bring these two because these two I know will not break on me. Plus, I'm not really going for, I'm so sorry, a cool toned bronze or contour lately. I just kind of want to bronze my face like I have today because it's just summer and I just want to look like I'm sun-kissed. Yes, because the sun kisses uh, vampires like me too. <clears throat> then for blush, I only have one single blush because I have two in my eyeshadow palette that I'll be showing later on. So the only single one I'm bringing is MAC Warm Soul. I'm sure, I'm sure you could like, you could have guessed this. This is my favorite blush of all time. I would wear this every single day, except for days where I wear pink makeup because I don't like it with pink. But most days, I want to wear this blush, honestly, because it just looks so beautiful on the cheeks. I'm wearing it right now. I'll probably be wearing it tomorrow. You know, that's how it is. I just love this blush so much. Then for highlighters, I'm bringing three, two for myself, and one is actually for my mom. So for myself, I'm bringing the Jeffree Star Ice Cold Highlighter, and then the Ofra Cosmetics and Nikki Tutorials Everglow Highlighter. This one's more gold toned, this one's more neutral toned, so that's why I'm bringing both. I'll swatch both for you now to prove to you that I'm not insane. I hope this swatch doesn't make me look crazy. Yeah, so... This is the ice cold, and this is the Nikki, and yeah, so bringing those two for myself. And then for my mom, I'm bringing the MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter. I honestly love this highlighter, and I wish I could wear it on my skin tone, but it doesn't suit me. I love it as an eyeshadow, and I love it on my mom. See, look how pretty that is. This is a mineralized skin finish. Honestly, if I get a bit of a tan, then I can wear this. So yeah, I'm bringing this along as well. You just zip up this bag. Okay, so all of my face products fit in there perfectly. I had more room for other stuff if I wanted to add it. So yeah, let's get on to the eyes. Now for eye products, this was really hard for me to narrow down, like really hard because I love eyeshadow and I love wearing eyeshadow and I'm gonna wear eyeshadow in Florida, I don't care. It's going to happen no matter what people tell me. So the first thing I'm bringing, of course, you could probably guess, is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. I love this palette with my whole heart. If I die young, bury me with this palette. It has everything I could ever want in here. I cannot, they're releasing a single of a Love Letter, Real Gar, and Vermeer. And when they go on sale on this Sephora website, you bet your ass I'm buying them. This palette could honestly be all I bring, but since I'm such a hoarder, I just want to bring multiple things. Plus, I'm afraid of running out of this palette because I do need to buy a new one, but I'm just not right now. <laughs> so, yeah. Then, the other thing I'm bringing is a my Makeup Geek Gunmetal Palette. It's just an empty palette. It's hard, but I put some shadows and two blushes in here for me to bring. I'm sorry, this is going to blind you. Okay, so these are the shadows. So the first one is Shimmer Shimmer by Makeup Geek. Then we have Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek. Wait, I don't know where my finger is. Okay, Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek. Running Late by ColourPop. Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek. Paper Tiger by ColourPop. Wait For It by ColourPop. Making Moves by ColourPop. Stay Golden by ColourPop. Then we have two blushes over here. We have Copper Tone by MAC, which is more of a, you know, a coppery warm blush. And then we got Spellbound, Spellbound by Makeup Geek, which is definitely more of a pink blush, as you can probably see there. I'll swatch the two. Yeah, so Spellbound is definitely more pink. And then I'm only bringing two more single shadows, and those are my two Urban Decay shadows in the shade Spike and the shade Relish. These are new to me, and I really want to play with them, and I really like them. I'm actually wearing them right now on my eyes. I did film a tutorial on this look. If you're interested, please let me know down below. So yeah, I also could get away with just bringing these two shades because honestly, I want to put this all over my face. Like I want to take this shadow, this Rella shadow, and just blend it the whole way across my face. And also Spike is super, super beautiful. These shadows are really, really good and pigmented. I'm not really been a big fan of Urban Decay's neutral shadows. I loved the Electric palette, but I hated the Naked palettes, as you know. But these two shadows are literally bomb like they're so good i don't know if they've changed their formula and if that's the case then 
I might buy some more Urban Decay shadows, but yeah. And then the last eyeshadow product I'm bringing is the Milk Makeup Eye Pigment in the shade Hotel Lobby. This is my baby. I love this so much. Um, this is going to be the only thing I wear on my eyelid, I'm pretty sure, in Florida. It lasts like something sick. I know that no matter what, when I put this on my lid and let it dry, it will never come off. And that's going to be perfect because in Florida, I want to wear glam makeup. But I don't want to look like a hot mess two hours in. And I know that this will never transfer and it will just stay perfectly all day. So I'm honestly very excited to put this to the test because I just think it'll be the ultimate test of how good the shadow is is if it can last while I'm sweating like that, like sweating so much. Then for brows, I have my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and my Anastasia Brow Definer. These are both in the shade Granite. That's the shade that I use. It's like the gray toned black shade. Um, since I have blue hair right now, it's like not blue, but when I have blue hair, usually it is the best way to complement it without having blue eyebrows, which is fine, but I don't think I can pull off blue eyebrows. And it would just be just not ideal for me. So yeah, that's what I use on my brows. Then some boring stuff. I'm bringing my Benefit There Real Mascara, my CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara, and my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. That is honestly everything I'm bringing for my eyes. I have so much extra room in this pouch as well, which means I can buy stuff. But like, yeah, so it all fits in there perfectly. And then all you have to do is close it up and you are good to go. I will not be putting my lipsticks in this. I'm putting them in their own separate compartment. So let's go talk about those. For lipsticks, I had an even harder time narrowing down the ones that I was gonna bring. I already know that I took I'm taking too many. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm bringing 11 lipsticks and um, I'm only going for seven days. So I don't know where I plan on wearing these lipsticks, but that's fine. The first one I'm wearing on the plane, like the day that I'm flying there, and that is the Ofra Cosmetics Nude Potion Liquid Lipstick. This is the one in collaboration with Nikki Tutorials. I've spoken about this before. It's like one of my favorites for when I'm just wearing like no eye makeup and I'm just wearing face and like heavy highlight and like a really fresh face look. This will be good for like when I go to Universal and I wanna wear makeup because it makes me feel good, but I don't want to do eyeshadow because I'm gonna die Universal, so yeah. This plus the reapplication for this is like nothing because it doesn't get crusty or disgusting or anything. And the same thing goes for this next lipstick. I'm bringing it for the exact same reason. This is the Tartius Lip Paint in the shade Namaste. This doesn't dry down matte. It dries to like a satin and it's really minty feeling and it's really good, honestly. It feels really good on the lips. And um, I'm bringing this for the same reason. It's more, more peach toned than the other one. I will swatch all of these lipsticks because that's what a good... YouTuber would do. Okay, I'll show you a little swatch comparison. I hope these don't like expose me and they look the exact same. I'll actually literally cry. Okay, no, you can definitely see that. Okay. So this is the nude potion shade. And then this is the namaste shade. It's clearly a lot more peachy than the um, Ofra one. So I'm bringing those two. Then next, I'm bringing my Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mannequin. I'm bringing this because I also love this as a nude lip, and I love it with red eyeshadow. So I brought red eyeshadows with me. So this is in case I decide to do like a red look, because honestly, this lipstick will suit it the best. Let me swatch this one next to it. See, like this one is completely different than those two. It's like a brownie, nudey, peachy, ready pink. It's like... A combination of a bunch of different shades and it's so 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 beautiful then I'm bringing the lipstick that I'm wearing right now and it's my new favorite honestly it is the Ciate London liquid velvet in the shade oh honey and this is like a super pretty terracotta shade and it has like this weird triangular brush that makes application super easy um, this is super comfortable like it dries down matte but it doesn't like feel dry or disgusting I have reapplied this lipstick today because I filmed this video three fucking times and um, it literally feels perfect. So that's that shade. It's clearly a lot more dark and orange than the other ones, but look how nicely that complements this pigment on my hand. So I know that I will definitely wear that shadow. Shadow lipstick. 
The next one I'm bringing is the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lipstick in the shade Alyssa. I don't know exactly what day I'm wearing this. I am going to Magic Kingdom next week and I'm wearing this romper that has like pinks and oranges and darker pinks in it. And I thought that this pretty corally muted pink would look so, so nice and like honestly give like a little bit of a princessy vibe and it won't dry down that so reapplication will be easy and it won't piss me off throughout the day. So that is Alyssa right there. The next lipstick I'm bringing is the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade Dusty Rose. I have packed an outfit that is a gray um, bodysuit and black ripped shorts and I think that this lipstick would complement that really well with like the muted dusty rosy pink tones. So that's why I brought this one. Plus I used this one in my most recent video and I'm really obsessed with like the way it looked and the way it wore and the way it felt. So I just kind of want to play around with it more. So that's it down here on the bottom. Then we have some more brighter colors. So I am bringing a duo, a liner and a liquid lipstick. This is the Lime Crime liquid lipstick in the shade Beat It. And I am wearing an outfit down to downtown Disney that has like a kimono and it has um like bright, not bright pink. It has like pinks this color in it. And um, I wanna wear lips, this lipstick to complement it, but it's a little bit patchy, so I brought this eyeliner. It is the Nightingale. I threw it away. Okay, the Nightingale <laughs> um, lip liner from MAC. And I was gonna swatch it, but now that it's on the floor, I'm not bending over to get it. So I will swatch the Lime Crime lipstick. Fuck, there's a hair in it. Oh God. All my swatches were going so well and this one just, just killed it. It ruined it. But uh, this mess is um, Beat It from Lime Crime. Okay, I'm really bothered by the fact that I just ruined my swatch with that fucking lipstick. Um, let me just try to remove that. Okay, now I'm just killing it. It's just dying. But um, yeah, um, next I'm bringing two red lip liquid lipsticks. Um, this one, it's called Stila Beso or Beso. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. And it is more of an orangey red. I'll swatch these over to the side. So I don't wanna coat my entire arm. But it's more of like an orangey, fiery red. Um, plus it's a new product to me and I haven't worn it. So I'm bringing it because I'll be forced to wear it. Okay, yeah, my swatches have officially gone to shit now. And then this is the Lime Crime Liquid Lipstick in the shade Red Velvet, more of a true red. This is, is a favorite of mine, and I know that I can never go wrong with it. So I'm bringing this as well. Let me just get that swatched on my hand. Okay, so that's the two of them right there. So you can clearly tell that one is more true red and one is more orange. Then for the last liquid lipstick I'm bringing is the... I needed to bring a dark one because like I just might want to wear a dark lipstick and I don't want to be left with nothing. So I'm bringing the Ofra Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade Havana Nights. This is one of my top favorite lipsticks. The formula is so beautiful. It wears so comfortably and it's just such a nice, nice formula and lipstick. And that way I'm prepared for if I just have a random day where I'm like, I want to wear dark red lipstick. So that's it right there. And the last lip product is a nude lip gloss. This is, I don't really wear lip gloss often, but I'm bringing this just in case I decide to want to wear it over one of the nudes that I have. I'll swatch that next to this eyeshadow. Okay, and this is the shade Fairy Floss. It's a pretty pinky, milky shade. Just kind of just adds gloss to whatever shade you put it over top of. So this is all of the lip colors I'm bringing. Okay guys, it is now time to show you what brushes I'm bringing and what I hold them in. So I actually hold my brushes when I travel in this Sigma brush case. This is what, oh my God. This is what my brush set came in. It's purple like the brushes um, that came in the set. And it's just like super, super sturdy. Like nothing could ever break through <laughs> this brush thingy. Also, I just wanna point out that I wiped my whole hand with baby wipe and this freaking milk pigment is still fucking on. Like this is no joke. Anyways, so the first brush I'm bringing is obviously my Sigma powder brush. This is the, oh my God, it's dark now. 
sorry this is the sigma f30 brush this is my big powder brush i used to set my whole face it's been the same one forever and now my next one is the sigma f50 brush i believe it's just a duo fiber brush i like to use this to blend my bronzer when i apply it then i'm bringing for my blush brush i have the sigma e40 brush this is the same blush brush i've always used again a total staple of mine 100 percent has to come with me i would never use anything else for blush to be honest like ever then for contouring i'm bringing my morphe m530 brush it is the ideal contour brush it fits in like the your cheekbone so beautifully it's completely a favorite of mine then for highlighting i am bringing my sigma highlighting brush i don't exactly know what number this is i just know that it's perfect for highlighting it's kind of similar to like maybe it's like an e25 it's an eye brush but i use it as a highlighting brush but anyways it's like the best highlighting brush ever you definitely need to buy this like today right now just leave the video and go get it then to for like brushing off my under eye bake i use the real techniques setting brush and then i have the real techniques multitask brush and this is what i use to buff out my cheek bake i love this brush though it's like just such a cute little brush it's kind of perfect then i'm bringing my Sig sigma flat definer brush this is what i use to carve out my crease and to carve my brows as well a lot of eye brushes next i'm bringing my sigma e40 brush this is what i use to blend my transition shade it's one of my favorite blending brushes ever i'm bringing my sigma i think it's like an e30 brush another tapered blending brush another favorite of mine of course i am bringing both of my mac 217 brushes these are my favorite brushes of all time and i would not go anywhere without these if i didn't have those i just wouldn't do my makeup that i'm doing this precise precise i can't bringing this precise pencil brush from sigma it's my favorite thing ever for buffing up my lower lash line and applying in my crease and also from in my inner corner then i am bringing this brush this is what i use to apply my under brow highlight and my nose highlight it's like the cutest little brush ever then i'm bringing my anastasia brow brush it has a spoolie on one side and then this on the other side this is what i use to apply the dip wrap pomade okay and then i'm bringing my mac 242 brush this is my this is what i used to apply my lid shades it's the only lid shade brush i ever used i never use anything else and then the last brush that i am bringing is my sigma concealer brush i don't usually use this but i'm bringing it just in case i need to use it for something just it's just being brought for just in case so now all of those brushes are in there you just put this lid on your brush case snap it and we're good to go these brushes are ready to fly okay so that is everything thank you all so much for watching i hope you have the best day and don't forget to like comment subscribe below if you enjoyed